Hello, I'm Nima Boscarino. I'm one of the lead instructors at Lighthouse Labs in Vancouver. This is... I'm David. I'm the education intern here at Lighthouse Labs. And today, the two of us are going to work through challenge number five for the 21-day coding challenge. So at this point, we're going to be dealing with arrays. We're going to deal with loops. We're going to deal with conditionals. All kinds of stuff. Maybe you're not super comfortable with it yet. We'll work through it together. Sounds um, good. So for this challenge, what we're looking at is we're going to be picking the appropriate buildings to use as polling stations for the upcoming election. So Codeville has a whole bunch of buildings. We've got Big Bear Down Air. We've got Moose Mountain Community Center. We've got Big Al Pizza. Um, and all of these different buildings have uh, a specific type. So for example, Big Bear Down Air is a restaurant. Um, Codeville Epic Academy is a school. And all of these buildings also have a capacity. This place here fits 10 people. Big Al Pizza fits 50 people. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to only pick the names of the stations or of the buildings that can be appropriate stations. And our rules for that are going to be the good stations are going to have at least 20 capacity. Okay. And stations can be <coughs> schools or community centers. So what we have today here is a function. Do you know what a function is? A function is essentially an action. Mm -hmm. A function is an action. Basically, okay. we can bundle up a certain amount of code, right? and we can run that code whenever we want. Right. And what's really cool about a function is we can give it inputs. Right? So for example, uh, an action could be a high five. Okay. Right? And I could high five uh, myself. I could high five this ghost, right? Or I could high five David, and we could just Oof. there we go, mighty high five. Pretty good. And um, so this action here can receive some input that we can use to customize the action. Right. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be making a function called choose stations that receives a list of stations. Cool. And by going through those stations, we can filter them. So my question to start off with is. How do we go through this list of stations? So to go through this list of stations, we're going to make a for loop statement. Exactly. We're going to make a for statement. So I'm going to go for. And with a for, I get to say for every station. So every station of all of the stations. Right. So this piece of code here says I'm going through each station out of all of the stations. OK. And what I want to do at the moment is just see whether I'm grabbing each individual station properly. Um, how can I see if I've grabbed the station properly? You can see by creating a console log. Mm -hmm. So I could go console.log. Right? And what I might console.log is station. Right? Okay. And so at this point here, I'm console logging every particular station. And we'll see. As we go through this loop, they all show up. Exactly. Each station gets printed out. Right. And I can console log other stuff as well. Uh, console.log uh, woo. So I have written woo a single time, but when I run this at the moment, I'm going to get woo however many stations there are. Right. right. Okay. So this loop is going to go through each station. Now, I want to uh, grab the capacity because I want to make a decision off of that. Okay. Um, how do I get the particular capacity for that station? You use the index. I need to use the index. So if I'm looking at a station here, right, um, which index is the capacity at? So the capacity is going to be the second one. The second one, right? right. So this is the name, mm -hmm. and this is the capacity at the right. second place. So what index is that? So... It's the first one because exactly. the name is zero. Exactly. So in JavaScript, the very first element of an array is going to be element zero. Right. Uh, this is going to be element one. This is element uh, two. Okay. So if I want to get the capacity, I could make myself a variable and I could say const uh, capacity equals and then uh, station one. Cool. Right. Cool. And now what I want to do is I want to. Um, maybe just console.log the capacity on its own, so capacity, and I'm going to see that all I print out is just the capacity every time. Cool. Now, 
what I want to do is I want to make a decision off of this capacity. Right. Um, that decision is going to be if the capacity is greater than or equal to 20. Right. So what am I going to need to create this decision? To create the decision, you're going to have to make an if-then statement. An if-then statement. So I'm going to go if, if my capacity is greater than or equal to 20, right. then I want to continue. So I can go, if my capacity is greater than or equal to 20, maybe I'll console.log, um, station, and let's say that I wanted to print out the station name. Okay. Um, what index am I going to have to use to print out the station name? You do index zero. Index zero. So let's just print out the name of every station that has capacity greater than 20. Okay. And what I get now is uh, Bright Lights Elementary, Moose Mountain Community Center. Excellent. And I also get Big, Big Al. Al Pizza, but Big Al Pizza is a restaurant. So it's no good. It's no good. I'm going to need to make another decision. Right. So in here, I'm going to need to check to see if it is uh, the particular station is a school or a community center. Right. Um, how do I make this particular decision? So another if-then statement. Another if-then statement. Right. And what I want to check in here is if my uh, type yep. is, maybe we'll start off with school. Okay. If it is a school, then it's a good place. Okay. So let's go const type okay. equals. And in the same way that we grab the capacity, I want to grab the type. So what index am I going to have to use to... Index 2. Index 2, index exactly. Two. So I'm going to go station 2. That's going to get me the type. Cool. And what I'll want to do here is ask if my type is equal to school. Okay. Right. So if my type is equal to school, then only then will I maybe want to print out the station name. Okay. Right. And that was the console log station, station zero because zero. zero gets right. the name. Right. And what I'm going to see right now is when I run this, I only get Bright Lights Elementary because Bright Lights Elementary has a capacity of 50 and it is at a school. Right. Let's say that instead of checking for school, I wanted to check for community centers. Uh, why, how would I change this to check for community center? You would change it. Mm -hmm. So right now this says if my type equals school, but what could I change about this to say check for community center? You'd make an or statement. Uh, I could also have an or, exactly. I could say um, if my type um, is not a school, but rather a, a community center, and if it's a community center, then I want to console log the name. Okay. So what I have here, are these two little pipes, mm -hmm. um, those are an or. Right. Right? So I get to ask a question that has two parts. And if either this one or this one is true, um, if either that one or the other one is true, then uh, I'll console log the name. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run. And what we get here is, in a second, Bright Lights Elementary and also Moose Mountain Community Center. Now we're going to do the last part, okay. which is... I want to keep track of these names because what I want to do at the end of it is print out an array that has all these names. Okay. Um, what can I do uh, or what can I create to keep track of these names? To keep track of the names, you would do a push to statement. A push to. And what push would to I push to? Awesome. You would push to um, an array. Exactly. Yeah. I would, I would need an array. So I'm going to go uh, const uh, good stations good stations equals and maybe an empty array to start off with okay and then every time i find a good station instead of console logging it i'm going to go good stations dot push and that means that the station is actually getting added okay to the list of good stations right and when i run this right now i'm no longer seeing the stations hmm. this isn't a bad thing this isn't a bad thing because what's happening is that I'm no longer console logging within my function. My console log is outside of the function. Right. So in order for me to be able to console log a value that's outside of the function, my function needs to be able to push a value out. Right. Right. It needs to get a value out of it. Um, what do I usually use to get a value out of a function? You'd use a return, a return statement. Exactly. So I could use a return statement. And if I go down here and I go return, and out of this thing here, um, what variable or thing is holding just the good stations? Um, 
it would be the choose stations or the good stations. Exactly. The good stations. The yeah. good stations right. array. This one right here. Yeah. So I could say return uh, good, good stations. stations. And now that value comes out of my function, and I get my array. Nice. And so here we've filtered through this big list of array uh, of uh, of places, and we've selected the names of the stations that are good stations for our election. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the twenty-one day coding challenge.